hello hello my queens welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm kanisha with currency queen budgets in this video i will be budgeting my check for january the 27th 2023 if that is something you're interested in stay tuned okay guys so if you have been watching my previous videos i have been dropping a few diys and i'm going to work in my um my one of my new budget by paychecks the one that i handmade myself this is um the queen's budget by paycheck this is um one that i just customized for myself to make it a little bit more fancy a little bit more fun for me as if i need any more fun um in this budgeting game but yeah i'm going to go ahead and jump right in here so we can get this check budgeted out and yeah let's get to it so let me grab an ink pen. I'm going to be using, I know these are my favorite, my Pilot G2, and it's a 0 0.7. And this can be found on um, www.currencyqueen.com. It comes in a physical form, and I also have the digital uh, format on there as well so you can go and purchase that okay and I'm just going to show you guys real quick what the digital um, form look like if you wanted to purchase that to use on your tablet I'm going to move this to the side really quick and here is the digital form here it's basically the same thing everything that's in the physical book is in this planner here and i really like i'm really in love with this um just a quick flip through here just so you guys can see every month has a different color um and the month kind of matches the girl that it belongs to so um it's basically everything that's in my other planner, but I just added a few pages and kind of switched it up a little bit. The other planners don't have, no, my um, my first one that I used last year, it doesn't have the, um, the cover page for each month. But that is that for the digital look. But I'm going to get in to this y'all i'm not gonna have my washi tape over here because i have been in my planners so i'm going to skip over to my last tracker since i am budgeting the last check of the month i have not been doing this all year because i've been doing everything else y'all but i'm getting back on track on getting all of my videos back on track and, and in order like I was last year. So let's get into this month. Y'all, and I think this is so pretty. What you guys think? Okay, so I changed the lightning a little bit. Let me see if I can do something else. Uh. Okay, how does that look, y'all? Y'all know I be all in my feelings about the looking of the blurriness. Okay, so we just gonna go ahead and jump right into this. I hope you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. So this is for the month of January. Okay. 
and paycheck would be 012723. And I'm just going to go ahead and get all of this filled in. And you guys know I normally fast forward it while I'm getting that put in and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything wrote in and let's see what we are going to be working with. I am going to do work income and I'm going to do $1,222. And the crazy thing is, y'all, I've been seeing this 222 and I just wrote that down. That is so crazy. I've been seeing that like, I don't know how many times I've seen it, but I've been seeing it a whole lot. But let's get into this breakdown okay so for my credit cards <clears throat> I'm going to do $50 for my tots it's going to get 60 for my car note let's do 150 for my insurance let's do 25 um cell phone mm, let's do 27 for my utilities i'm gonna do 50. for rent we're going to do 600 and subscriptions is going to get zero and you guys know i i um cash stuff for my bills for the next two weeks i'm not quite at a full one month ahead but i am two weeks ahead on my bill so that's why i'm only putting so little in here right now and then the next paycheck i'll fill up um all of my envelopes for the next two weeks so the only thing that's coming up this two weeks is my rent and my credit cards so, let's see how much we have here. So, that is $962. And for the remaining, what we're going to do is take this $1,222 and subtract the 962 that we're paying our bills with and we have $260 left. So going into our variable expenses, I have $260. So For my groceries, I think I'm going to do 115. And for gas, let's do 75 because gas is going back up a little. For household, let's do the normal 20. For spending, we're going to do the normal 10. Medication is also going to get 10. I um, I'm not going to do anything for eating out cuz I want to do a no spend in Eating out would be a, a spend, right? But I'm going to do 25 in beauty. Because <clears throat> y'all know I get my I have to get my nails done. Um I'm not gonna say I have to, but that is the only thing that I do for myself. I don't buy myself clothes, I don't buy shoes, I don't get my hair done. I'm locked, so I don't have to get my hair done. Um so, yeah, the only thing that I do for myself is get my nails done. Just in case some of y'all be wondering, be like, oh, this girl, keep on. I keep my nails done, y'all. My nail tech, she's awesome. She does a great job, and she does not charge me like an arm and a leg. So, 
I can go over there and it's reasonable inside of my budget, <laughs> of course. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I do for myself is to get my nails done, really. So we're gonna add this up. 115 plus 75 plus 20, 10, 10, and 25. Oh, so I got $255. Subtract that from that $260. That leaves me with $5. And I think I'm going to put that five in, um, in my savings challenge. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, I'm going to use that five right here and zero. And we are not doing any sinking funds right now because I'm focusing on all of my other endeavors that I have <laughs> planned out. Um, so, yeah. So, the next thing we are going to do is fill out our cash stuffing tracker. Now, this is what I use to get ready to do my cash breakdown for when I go to the bank. This is an old slip. I still have this filled out, but I will write everything here and then transfer everything here and then take this to the bank. And this is what my bank teller would get me uh, for my cash stuffing. So what I'm going to do is write in these categories again, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I had to make sure I was filling out the correct form, y'all. I was thinking this was the third week for um, the 27th. I thought it was the third week in January. I'm not sure why, but yeah. Um, So, let's put the date up here. 01, 27, 23. And it's not like I could have did anything because I've already started to write in this. Um, Even if it was on the wrong week. But, ugh. They still look kind of blurry to me. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little. All right, there we go. So that looks a whole lot better. My handwriting is sloppy now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to finish the end of this video up close and up personal. And I guess I will know the next time to do it close, too. So, uh, for my credit cards, I'm going to do a $50 bill. For my tides, I'm just going to do three twenties. For my card note, let's do a 150 for my insurance, 20 and a 5. For my cell phones, let's do 20, 5, and let's do two ones. For my utilities, I'm going to do 150. For my rent, we're going to do six 100s. For my groceries, let's do 100, a 10, and a 5. For gas, we're going to break this gas down um, because I was getting 50s and I don't even be using a whole 50 half of the time. So I'm going to do 320s, that's 60, a 10. And 60, 70, and 75. I had a blank there. For my household, do I want to do a 20 or two 10s? Let's do a 20. For medication, spending, we're getting 10. Medication's getting 10. Eating out isn't getting anything. I don't know why I wrote it on there. Beauty is going to get 20 and a 5. And then savings challenge is going to get 5. 
And then the next thing I'll do is I'll go in and tally this up. So I have six, seven, and eight. For my 50s, I have three. For my 20s, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have zero for my two dollars. And y'all know I had to add that in because y'all know I love my two dollar bills, but yeah. I had to redo that last year. So eight times one hundred is eight hundred. Three times fifty is one fifty. Ten times twenty is two hundred. And then uh -oh, four times ten is forty. Six times five is thirty. Zero and then two. And let's add this up because I don't know why I feel like I got more than what I need. Okay. <laughs> $1,222. Y'all, that looked like it was, I went over just looking at it. So, um, this is what I use to go to the bank. I'm going to zoom back out. See how that just changes, y'all? It just gets a little blurry. The color changes and everything. Maybe it's the lightning. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. But we have everything that we need in order to take this to the bank. I will fill out my cash breakdown with these numbers here. Everything evened out. And in the next video... We will be doing the actual cash stuffing. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. All the love and support, guys. I really appreciate it. Y'all been turning me up. And I thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys for stopping by to watch this video here. It's been a long time since I did it, seem like. And it seems like, oh my gosh. It seems like I'm like trying to relearn how to do all this over again. I hope I didn't forget anything. I know I didn't explain it like I normally do. So yeah, I didn't explain my budget breakdown like I normally do, but it's okay. Um, I guess I got to get back in the swing of it, but I really appreciate you guys for coming by. If you don't mind, and if you enjoyed this video, Please go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, guys, and I will really greatly appreciate it. But until the next video, guys, you know, I want you to be blessed, Queenies. Bye.